what's going on YouTube? Working on my carburetor for my motorized bike. I just thought I should kind of film some of this. But pretty much, I've been having issues with this carburetor. So I pretty much bought this kit. It's the 21 OK or whatever kit. It replaces most of all the parts in it. But it sounds like I have like an air leak in the carburetor. And I wonder if it's because I'm not running any gasket up top. That could probably be the issue that I'm having. I think I have screws to replace these bolts too as well. So I'm just gonna do that. Quick disclaimer, I never claim to be like a know-it-all for these bikes. There's still lots of stuff that I'm still trying to figure out as far as like what works for me, what doesn't work for me, what should I try, what should you try, stuff like that. So if you have any issues, I'm probably not gonna help you, but I can sure try. So I'm pretty much just gonna replace the float. I'm gonna to replace the, what else? I don't know if I should replace the choke. I don't think the choke is the issue. Yeah, everything looks free. Yeah, everything I can see right through. Yeah, this is 110. That's 110, and this is 135 for the slow jet. Just gonna put these jets back in. You want to firmly tighten them, but you don't want to tighten them too tight. There's a pain when you have to take it off. And I have one through, like, it, it, I forgot um, which ones did I do, but it was, in, it was hard to get these off. All right, I have the carburetor on the bike now. Just got temporary holes, no filter. Let's see if she'll start.
start it right up. As I pretty much just saw, the motor starts, it runs, it runs great. It sounds actually really healthy. Um, now, that's the least of my worries. Now I can start stripping this bike down and replacing everything on there with the new engine. Take this engine off, put it on my red bike. Oh man, let's go for a quick ride. Perfect. 